At the end of the last ice age, about 10,000 years ago, trees began taking root in the British Isles. These have become known as our indigenous or native tree population. They include trees such as the silver birch, the beech tree, a hazel, ash, Scots pine, and mountain ash, as well as our hardest of hardwoods, the mighty oak. Around 2,000 years ago, Neolithic hunter-gatherers began felling trees and clearing the land. Ever since then, we have managed and used our woodlands extensively. As well as dominating the landscape, they've become an integral part of our lives and our history. Wood provided material for shelter, heat and transport. It was at the very core of our lives. When Nelson defeated the French at Trafalgar, his Royal Navy ships were built of oak, oak from Montgomeryshire, mid Wales. Throughout Britain, hardwood forests were felled and the land used for agriculture. In Wales, however, trees have remained on steep hillsides where farming has not been viable. These are the woodlands at Devil's Bridge near Aberystwyth. Here, oak trees cling to the sides of the valley. They're often shorter than other oaks, gnarled and twisted, but full of character. They offer a fantastic habitat for wildlife. And a dramatic destination for visitors. Trees in Wales demand respect. They've endured countless harsh winters with blizzards, gales and rain. But each year, they burst back into leaf, displaying their beauty for all to see. Welsh forests are having a positive impact on the Welsh economy. Their commercial value as a source of timber products is helping to ensure their sustainability. Nowadays, they're also being used increasingly for leisure activities. If you go down to the Welsh woods today, you'll see sculpture trails, nature walks, and arts and crafts. Just push the broken line across. Okay. With the right management, Welsh hardwood forests can survive and flourish while providing timber for a multitude of uses. An organisation with restoration and sustainability firmly in mind is Coed Cymru. The basic aim is to try and restore the fortunes of native woodlands in Wales. The ancient woodlands, the remnants of the original forests that clothed Wales. It's all part of the process of trying to rebuild a tradition, and it's a tradition based on sound woodland management and conservation, linking the management of the woodlands into the general work on the farms, and then making the very best use we can of the raw materials that the woodlands produce, so that in time we will have economic sustainability as well as environmental sustainability. We base everything we do on the raw material we have available. That means making use of small diameter trees, leaving the best material in the forests to grow and to set seed for the next generation. One farmer actively adopting these practices is John Price. His family farm at Aberbechan near Newtown includes 60 acres of mixed deciduous woodland, a lot of it on steep slopes. It's a no-go area for sheep and cattle, letting trees grow and regenerate as nature intended. I've been actively managing the woodland for the last 15 years, but since I got involved with Coyd Cymru, uh, we've been actively managing it more intensive, adding value to the timber down the chain, and therefore trying to create income on the farm to sustain the family here. John selects which trees are to be felled. The resulting open spaces let in more light and encourage new growth. We fell the oak in the spring, just as the sap is rising up the tree, and then we winch the timber out to the clearing in the wood, where we employ contractors to convert the timber with the use of a double slab or slow into boards of four by one. Those boards are not only destined for use as flooring, 
they'll be turned into other things, such as window frames, chests of drawers and garden furniture. But what about regeneration and sustainability? The sustainability of the woodland is, since we withdrew the, the livestock from the woodland, we have been able to get young seedlings coming back into the wood. Therefore, the wood is naturally regenerating itself and we don't have to plant. You'd think running the farm and managing the woodlands would be enough for John. Not so, he still finds time to produce his own line of garden furniture using his own timber. Trees that are left to grow on steep hillsides and valleys often don't grow tall and straight. Their confined environment means they can produce only short lengths of straight timber. Until recently, these trees were used solely for firewood. This stopped when new ways to use the shorter lengths of timber were found. David Manuel of Hartwood has embraced this new philosophy. When the company was set up in 1992, his initial aim was to process trees for chipwood. Gradually the price of the chipwood went down and we were finding hard to make a living, so we went and discovered through Coy Cymru that we could make more money possibly putting it into floorboards. 80% of my timber we buy standing and that means the tree is still in the wood, still growing. We harvest it ourselves and we process it in the yard. The flooring we cut on a double slabbing saw, which is into short lengths, three and four foot. That then goes through onto another saw, the resaw, which we cut into planks, and they're stickered and stacked to stop the boards bending and then strapped down to keep them straight and left to dry for six months when we kiln it then ready for flooring. The resultant flooring is now being used throughout the country, adding value and beauty to homes and offices. Coyd Cymru are based at a converted sawmill in Tregunnan near Newtown. They are continually developing new hardwood products using the shorter lengths of Welsh timber. Over the years we've had considerable success in developing products that are usable, that are functional, and also which have proved to be very saleable. And a number of successful businesses have grown based on products which have been developed here. What we've been able to do is to demonstrate that Welsh timber has special properties and special appeal to the buying public. So often the materials that are imported into this country are very bland, almost perfect. And the comment that we get time and time again is, oh, that looks like a piece of plastic, doesn't it? Whereas if you've got a piece of natural looking timber with knots and with short grain and variations in colour, people perceive it as being a natural product. And there certainly is a strong appeal there, particularly in high value added products like flooring and high quality furniture. People want something a little bit special. They don't want something that looks like a plastic veneer. Undoubtedly, the biggest success has come with flooring both strip flooring and also an end grain system that we've developed here. But we've also done a great deal of work over the years on developing uh, windows, doors, garden furniture, picnic furniture for local authorities. And at the moment, um, we're working on a range of furniture for interiors, for offices and so forth, uh, based on the Welsh Angle principle, which we've developed here, which is a very simple way of making quality furniture using small dimension material and which doesn't require complicated joints. So it can be made by anybody with basic machinery and some very basic training. Canton Jones has a passion for Welsh timber. His company produces high quality kitchens, furniture and flooring. He uses Welsh timber whenever possible, often supplied by John Price and Dave Manuel. Welsh timber grows on steep Welsh hillsides it's small, it's very often the timbers are bent, and that's why people haven't bothered with it for years. So there's an abundance of it. It's full of character. You've got lots of knots, lots of variance in colour. Um, each piece is almost a work of art in itself. Because it's so special, it commands a higher price. This special Welsh timber is being looked at from a different angle, in the shape of end grain floor tiles. It's an idea that has been developed with Coyd Cymru. The interesting thing is usually when you cut trees, you plank it. We don't, we take a tree and we slice it like a loaf of bread, which means we can use a tree that's that size, which would otherwise be firewood. There's probably a hundred years of history on that little tile. 
So, end grain tiles is a beautiful way to make a beautiful floor. The Welsh timber industry really is a growing industry. It has created over 4,000 jobs and has a gross output of 400 million pounds a year. A lot of the forestry you see today is the result of policies from 50 years ago and our, our objectives have changed substantially since the Forestry Commission was, was initially started. The focus is much more up, upon woodlands for people, wood, woodlands for people to enjoy walking through or riding a bike through or riding horses. This woodland here, for example, has just been thinned. As you can see now, there's much more light coming through. Uh, the ground flora will improve and we'll get m many more woodland birds in. We're also hoping here to, to get natural regeneration of broadleaves to slowly convert the woodland back from softwood to hardwood. These trees will be turned into pallets, garden fences, stakes and rails, or pulped for paper. Some softwoods, such as the western red cedar, are used in a more unusual way. Log Cabins UK is a company near Aberystwyth which builds unique log cabins to order. This uh, woodland is managed in partnership with a charitable trust and we're fortunate enough to be able to uh, afford a horse logger to work in this area because of its sensitivity for archaeological features and so on. From a gentle horse to brute horsepower, the harvester is mechanical efficiency at its most awesome. In less than a minute, it can fell a tree, remove its branches, cut it into lengths, then color code them for optimum use at the sawmill. We buy the wood off the Forestry Commission. It's then processed through the machines turned into fencing posts, round material for any other uses throughout the country. I believe Welsh timber is stronger than the imports once it's processed properly. It also keeps the local economy going. On the Gower Peninsula in South Wales, Alan Woodman and Colin Owen have set up Hardwood Flooring Wales Limited. This company prides itself on producing high quality products from Welsh woodlands that are sustainably managed. I think Welsh timber is so special because it's grown in places where normally animals and agriculture are not carried out and it has a great character and quality that's not found in a lot of timber. This beautiful piece of furniture made from locally grown Welsh oak is a typical example of the furniture we produce. And uh, normally this, this, this tree would have gone to, to firewood. Uh, but now it's gonna it's it's cut into three inch boards. It'll be air drying here now for three years, uh, and then we'll uh, we'll kill and dry it, uh, and then we'll turn it into fantastic uh, elm tables. Before trees are felled, the undergrowth has to be cleared. Colin has an unusual method for doing this. What does he do? He sends in the pigs, and they eat their way through it. It's far more environmentally friendly than heavy machinery. According to Alan, there are many products on the market that are given an environmentally friendly tag, but they're often shipped from as far away as Australia and South America. It's very important to us that we use timber that comes from sustainable woodlands of Wales, and we look to actually sell products that have less than 100 timber miles on them. This efficient and sensible use of timber is helping to keep Welsh woodlands alive. By managing the woodlands well and producing excellent wood products, the result is a sustainable timber industry where everyone can benefit. With Welsh woodlands playing an increasingly important role in the economy and offering new leisure opportunities to us all, what can we do to help? The answer is to make sure we buy Welsh timber products whenever and wherever we can. This way, we'll not only be buying quality products and keeping people in employment, We'll also be helping to keep these wonderful woodlands alive and thriving. And remember, from little acorns, mighty oaks grow. Welsh timber, it's the natural choice.